Mark, my viewers are photographers and filmmakers who are trying to wrap their wits around music and adding it to get the kind of effect that they want. Can you walk us through some of the key concepts that they need to know? It's all about emotion. And the, the fascinating thing about music is that it's a complete, certainly the most subjective art form there exists. And by that I mean every individual experiences a piece of music completely personally. And it's very hard to predict exactly what music's effect upon an individual is going to be. Yeah. Especially without lyric, without a title. If you strip lyric and title out of a music, I've ex actually experimented with this, people's re feeling of what it's expressing is completely different. Mm -hmm. It's a completely subjective experience. So you have to sort of find a way to predict what that experience can be for somebody. And the, the good thing is, as soon as you do couple music with a word, even just a title, the four seasons, mm -hmm. right? If, if you don't ha title that those four movements that, you don't know it's about summer, spring, fall, and winter. Right. But as soon as you title it, you can start to see that. So likewise, if you take a piece of music and you put it to a picture, immediately a, an individual will start to make very personal associations between that music and the image. Right. So I think the first thing to know is not to be scared and just to simply go with it and, and learn from doing it because some, some relationship will establish and you will find that no matter what music you put, there will be a relationship and then it will be up to you to define at, as you go or have, have a very strong preconceived idea, what are you expressing? You know, is, the, is the communication of this image or series of images uh, tragedy? Mm -hmm. And then make sure you're not playing the theme to Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because that probably won't help you. <laughs> right. But if you're playing the Barber Adagio for strings, um, it probably will help you. And one can learn this art a lot by just doing it mm -hmm. and feeling yourself what, get a sense of what that music does for the experience. And just be willing to sit back and experience it yourself and see what. Um, powerful changes can be affected. Makes sense. You have an enormous catalog of work and mm -hmm. some of my favorite <laughs> pictures, Never Cry Wolf, River Runs Through It, and then recently Crash and uh, Fame. Mm. What have been your most favorite projects? Oh my goodness. Well, the, the, the sort of the answer that I, that I fall back on <laughs> has been the one I'm currently on because okay. that's, the one, that's the one where you're, you know, you're, your whole being is wrapped up on it at that moment. But no, there have been some standouts. I think Crash has to, I have to put that on my list. It was a, it's a remarkable film. Mm -hmm. And uh, up against you know, the odds of no money and, you know, so you have to, you know, as soon as you have no money, you better have a really bright idea. But I also have a great fondness for a film that, that uh, was not nearly well as received, but it was directed by uh, the great Brian De Palma. Mm -hmm. So you, it, um, The Black Dahlia. Oh, yeah. And lots of money and, and a big cast. Um, and Brian, you know, larger than life director. <laughs> Great to work with him, and an opportunity to do a very unique, large, big brush of a uh, stroke type of score, you know, big orchestra, London Symphony Orchestra, and, and uh, featuring myself as a trumpet player, soloist. Wow. And so there are moments like that that the production of a score such as that is, will always be a highlight just because of the pure energy and, and mm -hmm. largesse and, and yeah. the fun of it, you know, the, just the fun of making it. Mark, I'm always amazed when I hear these stories like Dave Brubeck, who was almost kicked out of his conservatory because they <laughs> found out when he was about to graduate he couldn't read music. <laughs> I don't, that's a great story. I, I heard that it. just the other day. <clears throat> what are some of the challenges you've had to overcome? Oh, <laughs> well, funnily enough, even though I never studied film composition, I don't have a degree in music, I always knew enough about music and was had a voracious appetite to know more that I was always sort of studying in my own way. In fact, connected to this idea of, well, why do I do this at all, that I want to give people the experience that I have experienced 
right. listening to other great music. I would love to be able to just make a moment of that experience for someone else. That, in fact, sort of led me into my own process of self-education and self-discovery. And then I went back, and at one point when I was starting to be hired as a composer, and I sort of got this, I better get it together here, pal, <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, and, and start to learn as much as I can about music and how do you manipulate it and create with it. I went back to those moments that had knocked my socks off. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that Miles Davis moment, that Stravinsky moment, that Mahler moment, that Brian Eno moment, that... Uh, I forget, there was even, there was rock music, there was lots, you know, all those moments up until that point, and I continue to do this to this day, and I grab those moments and I study them, and I figure out what it is that's being done there that created that impact upon me, mm -hmm. and, I, and I learn from that. I take that idea and say, all right, now how can I use that to help me create the same effect on others? Mark, thanks for inviting us to your studio. It's been my, really great. My great pleasure. Be sure to subscribe to our blog now to stay updated on my show, and we'll give you tips and insight to keep advancing your photography. Also, check out our guests' website for a closer look at their work. Tune in to our next episode of Advancing Your Photography for an inside look at another photographer's world. Until then, this is Mark Silver reminding you to get out and capture your own images of life.